Hello. Hi, how are you doing today? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing well. I, I just want to say, I know your birthday was a few days ago, so happy birthday. Um, Not our birthdays. I, um, yeah, thank you. Just, I'm so excited to chat with you about Grownish. I've loved this show for so long, and I, I think you've done a great job kind of taking on the lead in this last season. So I'm wondering, you know, before we start chatting today, do you have a favorite episode of this season that you're most excited for fans to see? And, and what are you excited for them to see from, from Junior this season? Favorite episode of this season. Um, we have one episode where I don't know how much I can give away. Just a little sneak peek. Think, it doesn't have to be too crazy. Uh, J- Junior has an experience with some sort of substance and has like a moment. Um, and that was a really crazy thing to film. Uh, and I think a little part of it might be in the trailer somewhere. I don't know if you guys. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was one of my favorite episodes to to film just because it was it was like the first time we were kind of using a, a little bit of like CGI and special effects on set. So it was a lot of fun to learn about how to, you know, frame those things and taking shots of plates and whatnot. So it was a cool experience. Definitely. I, I know that you've kind of grown up with this character. You've been in it for, for more than five years, like almost eight years, I think it is, or eight seasons at least. Um, yeah. I'm wondering for you, is there anything that you, you've you learned about yourself in taking on this character that you are excited to share with people? You know, How have you grown individually as an actor and as a person in, in taking on this role? Yeah, um, I think I, I, mean, I feel one of the things I've learned a lot from Junior is he just does not care whatsoever what people think like he's just himself always um and i think that's something that that i've struggled with for a long time and getting to see junior be so confident in who he is and not care is i mean it's refreshing it's really it's nice to see in a character who's so uh outwardly nerdy or dorky or whatever uh just to be like yeah i am the way i am i still pull and i'm cool so like that's it um and i love junior for that and i feel like i've learned um honestly just being on set and being around so many people who who uh use their voice for things that they're passionate about and being a part of a show that um talks a lot about current world issues black issues issues with um race family all those sorts of things um i've learned a lot from those episodes and those experiences and getting to um sit back and really just live in it and have a conversation with my fellow actors uh I've learned so much over the years. I've learned business sense. I've learned how to start up a company, how to create, I mean, just started my own production company. I've learned countless things. I'm so thankful for the opportunities presented in front of me. Yeah, I, I love that you bring up that this show talks about so many important issues. I think one of, that's always been one of my favorite things about it. I know that you've been pretty vocal and passionate about environmental activism, and you've worked with as an ambassador for Defend Our Future World, the Environmental Defense Fund. And I'm just wondering mm-hmm. if there's you know any issue that hasn't been tackled on the show yet that you would love to see the characters kind of interact with or play with on screen that you perhaps could could bring in in your character. One that I'm really excited about uh, that we're we're dealing with is uh, mental health issues. That sh- uh, it's kind of displayed a little bit in the second half of of, of this season, um, and I've said it for a while that I, I really wanted the character to go through those things. Um, whenever people ask me these questions, so I'm excited that we're finally tackling that. I feel like we did a great job on it, um, and it's it's really cool to see that i mean everybody goes through it and it's not cool to see because of course it sucks but um it's it's kind of refreshing and eye-opening when you have a character like junior who's been so positive his entire life realize oh maybe everything isn't sunshine and rainbows and i have to figure things out um and it's very relatable so uh that's one of those issues that i'm happily happy we're finally tackling Definitely. And and we left Junior off at the end of, of the first part of this season, a little bit love struck, a little confused about yeah, his feelings yeah. um, and kind of talking about the relatability of that for, for young people and for college students, kind of what has been the fun part of portraying his relationships on screen. He almost got married in black as she yeah. is, you know, tackling normal college relationships here. So, you know, what are the vibes and, and what are you excited for people to see? Uh, Junior is a new man. Uh, <laughs> five star ratings changed his life. Um he uh, has been the the talk of the town, I guess you'd say, um, and it's been very good to him. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, of course, he has his relationship with Annika that's been developing for uh, through the course of the season that is going to be, I mean, as all relationships are very difficult. Um, and yeah, there's just so much to look forward to with um, 
with Junior in this upcoming season when it comes to his love life. I mean, he the man is 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 wild and definitely. I mean, I think Zoe was well known for her legendary love triangle. Do we see any extra players yeah. coming into? Zoe the had like a love trapezoid. There was always <laughs> always something going on. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it, we there is some more of that coming up in this uh, upcoming season. Some more love interests, more drama with with Annika and. Um, yeah, some fun storylines developed from there. Definitely. And I'm I'm wondering too, because you talked about the production company as as a leader on set, how have you felt like you've grown in it? And what other things that people might not see for you in this show do they um need to look out for kind of on your social media and the projects that you're working on? Is there anything that you're really excited to share? Um, I had this project that I just took to I didn't take. I was in a project uh, at the Toronto Film Festival that recently got purchased uh, by Neon, and that's going to be distributed. Uh, I don't know if this is sometime this year. Yeah, um, which I'm very excited about. Should be hitting some some theaters, which is really cool. I have. Uh, it's called How to Blow Up a Pipeline. Let me preface that. Um, and then uh, with the production company, I just produced my first film called How I Learned to Fly um we just finished scoring that uh very excited about that and um yeah i mean grownish season six here we come very pumped juniors going through uh the trials and tribulations of growing up he's dealing with uh pledging fraternity he's got std scare he's got drug (laughs) experiences he's wild them with his five-star experience um so there's a lot to look forward to in this upcoming season. I'm excited for people to also watch the second half of season five. Definitely. And, and just to wrap up, I'm wondering too, when you're on set and you're trying to get in your character mode, is there a pump up song you have or a playlist you put on any things that you get to kind of get into character and, and feel junior in his fullest sense? Or do you resonate with the character so much that you just hop right in? Uh, at this point, I just hop right in. It's been like, <laughs> it's like 11 years now. So I can just kind of roll into it. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I have a playlist called Slaps, but that's all I listen to, basically. <laughs> what's on it? What's what's the vibe? What's the energy? What's the vibe? It's a lot. Of, I'll be honest. It's a lot of trap music. I, mm-hmm. I, I mostly listen to music to entertain myself. So um, <laughs> nothing too sophisticated going on there. <laughs> Love it. Wonderful. Well, I don't want to hold you, but I really appreciate the chance to get to talk to you and so excited to see the rest of this season. Appreciate it. Excited for everyone to see it.